everyone. In math today, we're starting a new unit, so a new topic. We are learning about measurement. Now, I want you to think about what is measurement? Do you know what that is? What does that mean when I say measurement? We're going to measure things. There's lots of things we can measure, right? We can pretty much measure anything. There's lots of things we can measure about things. We can measure how long they are. We can measure how much they weigh, right? Like how much does something weigh? We can measure their capacity, which means like how much can fit inside there? That's capacity. How much water, how much tea can fit in my mug? How heavy it is, right? How heavy. And then we can also measure how long something else. We are going to be talking about measuring how long things are. Okay, so we're going to measure that's called length. We'll be measuring the length of things. Okay, so I want to tell you, um, there's many things that you can use to measure the length of things. Okay, people often use a ruler or a tape measure or those types of things to measure things, but we can also measure them with our cubes. You could measure them with, hang on one second, let me just show you here. You could measure with paper clips if you wanted to. You could line up a whole bunch of paper clips to see how long this is, right? So you could use paper clips and see how many paper clips long this is. You could use crayons. How many crayons long is this? You could use anything you want to measure. Or you can use a ruler and see how many inches long it is. Today, we're going to do some comparisons of length. So we're going to talk about things that are longer than our pencil. We're going to compare it to our pencil. So we're going to find things that are longer. That means bigger in length, longer than our pencil, things that are shorter than our pencil, and things that are the same length as our pencil. And you're going to, kind of, you're going to go on a hunt. You're going to go on a hunt around your house to find things that are shorter, the same, and longer than your pencil. I have some things that I collected and I want to show you those things that I collected and I want you to help me determine if those are shorter, longer, or the same size as my pencil. So let me share with you the things that I found that I've collected from around my house. Okay, here's the things that I found. There's, this is um, like a, um, like an agate kind of, I can't remember exactly. I'm having a blank here, but um, let's see. Is it the same longer or shorter than my pencil? It's the same, right? Okay, so that one's the same. So then what I would do on my paper is I'm going to go to the same section right here and I'm going to draw a picture of that. Because that was the same length as my pencil. So there we go. Okay, now I have this paper clip. What do you think? Is I have to, you know, when you're measuring things, you want to line up the end of what you're using to measure with the end of the thing that you are measuring. So see how I have the ends of them lined up? Now is the paper clip the same, shorter, or longer than my pencil? Shorter. So then I go over here in the shorter section and I could make a paper clip. I draw a paper clip. Okay. How about this one? This cool like stick pencil. So the first thing I need to do, right, is end, line up the ends. See down here? Line up the ends. Is it shorter, longer, or the same? It's longer. Okay, so stick pencil goes over here. Cool stick pencil. There we go. Um, how about this marker? Line up the ends. Same, longer, or shorter? It's shorter. So I would draw the marker over here. 
Okay. I think you get the idea. So what I want you to do is just kind of go on a hunt around your house. What can you find that's the same longer and shorter than your pencil? The hardest one for me was to find things that are the same as my pencil. So uh, see if you can take on that challenge and find maybe find at least three things that are the same as your pencil. That'll be a little bit tricky. And then find things that are shorter and longer. See how many you can find to fill in this paper. Okay, so today, remember, we're comparing to our pencil. So you need to have your pencil and then find things that are shorter, the same, and longer. And remember how important it is to line up the end of your pencil with the end of whatever you're measuring. Okay, go ahead and measure away. Have fun.